The artifact of the destroyer is located in the southeast section of the map in the desert region, as you can see, and the map in the GPS coordinates will be shown on screen soon. The dangerous creatures you will face in this cave are going to be shown on the screen right now, but along with that, you also have to deal with dangerous ledges which cause instant death, along with caves shifting from hot to cold temperatures. Now, for what I personally recommend for this cave, based on my approach, is shown on the screen right now, but of course, feel free to pick and choose depending on how you plan to run it. Now, the player stats I showed from my experience have been more than adequate to reduce the stress caused by changing weather and torpor attacks. Overall, I highly recommend a high-level Thyla with lots of health, stamina, and melee. This will make the cave a lot easier, not only because of the maneuverability, but also you have a higher chance of defeating rubble golems and not dying to them. As well as having the four consumables I showed earlier, Cactus Broth, Kaolin Soup, Less Antidote, and Shadow Steak will help heaps in this scenario. Aside from that, just follow the rest of this section to find the artifact and get out safely. The artifact of the Gatekeeper is located in the central canyons which is roughly in the middle section of the map, very close to Red Obelisk, and the map in the GPS coordinates will be shown on screen soon. Now along with the dangerous creatures you'll face as shown on the screen right now, you're going to have to deal with extreme heat as well as dangerous heights. Now again, I personally recommend the following gear for this cave based on my approach and obviously that gear is shown on the screen right now, but of course feel free to pick and choose depending on how you plan to run the cave. If you are going to go on foot, I highly recommend parachutes and ranged weaponry. The player stats showed are the same as before. In my experience, they have been more than adequate to reduce the stress of the changing weathers and the torpor attacks. Add that with the recipes earlier, you know, the cactus broth, the kaolin soup, less antidote, and shadow steak. All of that's going to make your life a lot easier. Overall, again, I highly recommend a high level thyla with lots of health, stamina, and melee, as it's just going to make the cave a heck lot easier, especially with the maneuverability, quicker to get the artifact, and a higher chance of succeeding, especially if you come across a rubble golem. Furthermore, you really want to take a cryopod on this mission because there'll be a section where you'll need to crawl under an area and unless you cryopod your creature, he's not coming with you, so... And that next section has a lot of dangerous creatures, so best to pod them and bring them with you. Aside from that, just follow the rest of the section of the video, get the artifact and get out safely.
The final artifact we need is the artifact of the Craig, and that is located in the mountains of the north section of the map, which is closest to Blue Obelisk, and I'll be showing the map in the GPS coordinates soon. Aside from the dangerous creatures you'll be facing as shown on the screen, you'll also have to combat the extreme heat which you'll need your consumables for, such as the Shadow Stag, or the Cactus Broth, or the Kayleen Soup, in order for you to even make it to the artifact and not die of heat stroke. Now the following gear, you need to tackle this cave based on my approach, as shown on the screen right now, and the player stats, as shown before, are basically the exact same as it's been with the other artifacts. As well as with the other caves, it's best to bring a high level Thyler with lots of health, stamina and melee. This will make the cave a lot easier with the overall maneuverability, quicker to get to the artifact and a higher chance of coming out of this cave alive based on the challenges I'm going to face as you'll see. Aside from that, just watch on, get the artifact and get out safely. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this helped you get all the artifacts on Scorched Earth, and with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.